Hello everyone, how are you today? In this video, we will learn our grammar lesson, which is in Unit 5, Week 5. Before we start, I just want you to grab your grammar booklet because it's the only book we're using in this video. Are you ready? Let's start. Our lesson today is called Pronoun Verb Contractions. Pronoun Verb Contractions. We already took what contractions are. Remember? Let's revise together. Is plus net equals? Pause my video and try to solve three of them. Is plus net, have plus net, does plus net. Did you solve them? Okay, let's solve them together. Is plus net equal? Sorry. Isn't. Remember, we crossed the O in the nut and we replace it with an apostrophe. Have plus nut. Have always the first word is as is. We don't write and we don't erase anything from it. Is nut isn't. Have nut haven't. Does nut doesn't. In the three examples, we cross the O and we replace with an apostrophe. So, a contraction is a shortened, short, becomes shorter, a shortened form of two words. Like here, we have two words. The, the contraction is a shortened form of two words. While an apostrophe, an apostrophe, this is an apostrophe. An apostrophe replaces letters that are left out in the word. Remember replaces? Replace is one of our vocabulary words. When we cross something or remove something and we replace it with something new. So, when do we add the apostrophe? The apostrophe is instead of the letters that we crossed. Like, for example, in is plus not. What do we cross? We cross the nut and we replace it with an apostrophe. Remember, a contraction is one word. So don't leave up a space between is and not when you write the contraction. So you should write it this way. Is, isn't. It becomes one short word. So our lesson today is pronoun contractions. Pronoun contractions. Let's remember the pronouns together. He, she, it, you, we, and they. If I want to add to he, is, what would it be? If I want to add to she, has, what would it be? If I want to say I plus am, what would it be? So, that's why they call it pronoun contractions because today we will learn how to write contractions with pronouns let's solve together he plus is he's he's what did i cross i crossed the i in is and i kept the s and i replace it with an apostrophe let's solve she and it because both have is Pause my video and solve it the same way we solved his. Did you solve it? Great. Now, she is, she, we write it as it is, and in is, we cross the I, we replace it with apostrophe, she's. It is, it, we write it as it is, we cross the I, we replace it with apostrophe, is, it's. Now, what about are? You are, we are, they are. Remember, we can't say you is or we is or they is because only he, she, it likes the S. So, you are became your. Not your, your jacket. No, it's you are, you are beautiful, you're beautiful. So, what did we cross? We crossed the A and we replaced. 
replace it with an apostrophe. So it, beca it, it became your. Pause my video and solve. We are and they are the same way we solved you are. Did you solve it? Okay. So we are, in R, we cross A and we replace it with apostrophe. So it become we, the first word is at, as it is, we, apostrophe, her, we're, we're. Even the way we pronounce it or read it will become slightly different. So instead of saying we are, we say we're. Instead of saying you are, we say you're. Instead of saying he is, we say he's. They are, they, as it is, we cross the A, place it with apostrophe, and it becomes there. Not there when we're, I'm asking about a place. No, it's there. They are. Remember, those two and those two are homophones. I am, it's super easy and it's my favorite. I am, we only cross A and we replace it with apostrophe. It would become am. Um. Is it clear? I think it's super easy. It's just like a game. Now we're done with is, are, and am. Um. Let's see has and have. He has, she has, it has. She has is already solved for you. And let's figure out what is uh, crossed. So the answer is she is. They crossed A and H and they replace it with an apostrophe. So this time, two letters are crossed. So she's. It's exactly the same as she is. Pause my video and solve. He has and it has. Now let's solve it together. He has. Remember, in has, we cross two letters. It's A and it's H. So it, become, it becomes he's. He, also, it's exactly as he is. It has also. It's. Now we're done with has. Let's see have. Oops, sorry. Let's see have. Have, have, have. We have is there for you. Let's figure out what did they cross. Well, it seems like has. They crossed A and H too. So it, become, it becomes weave. Weave. We have beca becomes weave. You have, we cross A and H, and we replace with apostrophe, you. They have, they've. We cross A and H. So, in has, what do we cross? We cross A and H. In have, what do we cross? We cross A and H. In is, we only cross the I. In are, we cross only the A. I have, of. Next, other examples. If we have had, had is also very easy. And had is for, for all the pronouns because it's for the past tense. So, he had... We also cross A and H as in has and have, and we say he'd. She had, she plus had becomes she'd, and so on. What about the last one? Will. I will, she will, they will, we will, you will. It will. All of them the same. In will, we cross W and I, and we only keep the double L. So, I will becomes I'll. She will becomes 
teal they will becomes veil we will becomes wheel so let's revise together what should we cross and what we should keep let's write it here on the side is are has have had am and will pause my video and think what should we cross from uh, which letters should be crossed when we want to write a contraction okay let's do it together is we cross i let's change the num uh, the color so it will be clear for you let's make it blue is we cross the i or we only cross the a has have had we cross two letters the h and the a h and a h and a and we only cross the a will we cross w and i that's it now open your grammar booklet page 121 they're asking you to rewrite each sentence it's okay no need to write the rewrite the sentence i just want you to write the contraction instead of the underlined words so replace the underlined words with a contraction i plus am it is he has i have they are i think it's super easy even you don't need me to solve the first one for you pause my video finish this page and let's move together Open page 122, it says, underline the two words in each sentence that, uh, that you can make into a contraction. So it's like the previous page, but they didn't underline anything to you. You need to figure out what, should, what can be uh, written as a contraction. Then write the sentence with a contraction. No need to write the sentence with a contraction. It's okay, I just want you to write the contraction. So, we will have lots of fun at the park. Obviously, we will can be written as a contraction and so on. Pause my video until you finish this page and then let's move together to the last page, which is 123. Page 123, they said, focus in part A. Write C if the underlined word is a contraction and write P if it is a possessive pronoun. So, remember possessive pronoun we took before? The pronoun that shows belongings, that shows that this belongs to me, it's for me, or it's for you, or it's for she, or it's for it. So, I hope it's not too late to enter the science fair. It's, do you think it's is a contraction or a possessive pronoun? Well, obviously, yes, it's a contraction because it was, it is, it become, it becomes, it's. Solve two, three, four, five. Pause my video and solve the other four. Then we will complete, uh, complete part B. Now part B, they're asking you to complete each sentence with the correct contraction or possessive pronoun in parentheses. So you need to choose. A contraction or a possessive pronoun according to the meaning of the sentence. I like your or your new backpack. I like your new, new backpack or your new backpack. Well, it's your, a possessive pronoun that shows belongings. So the other three and you will be done with our lesson today. I hope it's clear for you, boys and girls. Study well, please, and don't hesitate to ask me anything you want. Thank you so much for listening. See you next time.